Hello and welcome to a brand new show. It's called The Debate. No points or prizes for guessing what we're going to be doing, chatting all things football. Okay, one thing that wasn't debated this morning, very obviously, was what my guest Leroy Rossini and Don Hutchison were going to wear. Guys, <laughs> did you not get the memo? Did you not get it? What memo? Maroon. It's obvious. Sorry, no memo for me. I'm going to be sat in between these two discussing all things Premier League. Now, the first question I want to ask yep. you both. Yeah. Okay. Arguably the biggest story to come out of the Premier League this season. Maybe even bigger than Manchester City uh, winning that title. Who is going to replace Arsene Wenger at Arsenal? Do you want me to go first? Yes. I've got two names. I've got Max Allegri at Juve. He's yep. done a wonderful job. They're winning Serie A's for fun. One a little bit more left field, and it's Eddie Howe at Bournemouth. Wow! I've oh. watched Eddie Howe's teams play, especially Bournemouth, over the last couple of years, and he always plays on the front foot. He always you know, sets his team up very attacking to win games. He never tries to stay in games. I've seen it with the managers over the last 18 months. It's become a bit, bit of a trend, actually, where managers in and around the, the, the foot of the table and... and teams that are mid-sector just sort of go, oh, we'll stay in the game, we'll just try and get something, we'll try and get something last 20 minutes, we'll stay in the game for an hour. Eddie Howe tries to win games. And I, I could imagine him being the perfect fit for Arsenal. Max Allegri, Eddie Howe for Don, Leroy? Uh, for me, even Jochen Love, um, or I'd like to see Patrick Vieira get, get an opportunity. Um, I think he's gone off and got his experience in the EMLS. Obviously, he's an Arsenal legend, and he's the sort of player that Arsenal have been missing for all these years. So I think he'll be aware of just what Arsenal need. You do know, Leroy, it's a manager, not a player. By that the they way, need. Well, look, let's, let's talk about <laughs> Eddie Howe. He can't Howe. play anymore. I mean, you're talking about Eddie Howe, by the way. Eddie Howe is going to play exactly the same sort of football that Arsenal Wenger's been doing. You're talking about not sh shutting up shot when you needed to. Well, that's what Arsenal have been doing for the last, I don't know how so many years. So wouldn't that be a and good Arsene fit? And Wenger is now moving on. Well, no, you'd get exactly the same. You need something totally different to what right. Arsene Wenger served up. So let me ask you this, Leroy. Joachim mm -hmm. Love has been 12 years mm -hmm. as Germany manager. Mm -hmm. Club football might be alien to him. Well, look, the key is recruitment for Arsenal. To get the best players in. And where they are, in sixth place. Remember, they're in sixth place. and They're not competing with Man City. They're not competing with Liverpool or Man United. So recruitment is going to be key. And that's where Arsene Wenger has let himself down. He's got very good technical players. But you look at what's already there at Arsenal. As he'll sign a new three-year contract, he needs to be kept happy. Mertesack is going to be in the backroom staff. So he'll, he'll be parachuted into a system which suits him. I need to jump and he in knows there. where the best young players are. I, 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 I need that. to jump in yeah. there, Leroy. Arsenal scouting network over the last few it's years shocking, yeah. hasn't been that great no. so then they're going to appoint an international manager mm -hmm. who doesn't need a scouting network because he only has to pick the players no, that are German he's got a scouting of course he, he watches opposition teams he knows what's going on around the world he knows where the best he players are his around scouting the network world will watch German players what you're you think? talking rubbish yet again about Jochen <laughs> <laughs> what's he going to leave Germany for to go to Arsenal get Eddie Howe and give Eddie Howe time and just say and take the pressure off and tell the media, by the way, if you mm. do appoint Eddie Howe, we don't expect you to win the title in a year. We want you to rebuild our football club like Arsene Wenger done when he left Grand Passaic mm. to come in Arsenal. No one had heard of Arsene Wenger when he came to England. No. The Arsenal players didn't. We work with a lot of Arsenal Eddie, players. Eddie, Eddie, right, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Howe's experience of management. When he left Bournemouth, if he went to Burnley, went, ooh, 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 he's too far away from home. He had to go back to Bournemouth. He's very comfortable at Bournemouth. He's not someone who's going to be, uh, wants to be uh, outside Arsenal's his not comfort too far away zone. From outside, he'll be outside his comfort zone in terms of no. Arsenal. And by the way, the reaction you would get if Eddie Howe was appointed manager of Arsenal would be one of absolute disappointment from Arsenal supporters. I mean, you mentioned Max Allegri, and I totally understand that. Patrick Vieira, absolute hero at the football club. Joachim Lowe, international yeah. manager, won the World Cup. This is where Arsenal need to get to. And they're not going to get there by going to a side, a, a, a manager who's managed in the bottom half of the Premier League table at best. They need to get the best that they can get. And Eddie Howe isn't amongst them. Hasn't he done a good job in rebuilding Bournemouth? He's, he's managed that club without spending loads of money. I thought the record signing might be Nathan Aki, £20 million. Mm -hmm. Arsenal are going to need to start again from the bottom. And the reason I say that is one manager who I'm, I'm sure we'll discuss, Louis Enrique, mm -hmm. in the preliminary talks with him, it's reported that he wanted something like 200 million just on the transfer kit. Well, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. And you talk about, let's talk about Eddie Howe and his rebuilding job. He hasn't rebuilt a lot, to be fair. And you talk about Nathan Ake, there's not many players who come through the door at Bournemouth. Like Jordan Ivers yep. come in. 15, 60 men not being that successful. Uh, you know, so the players he'd signed, Begovic, uh, you know, he's okay. So he's still got the same core of players that he had when he came from the lower leagues. But so isn't that build testament to him? Well, he needs someone who knows, knows players around the world. Eddie Howe, you're talking about, you know, uh, 
you can only know players from Germany. Eddie Howe only knows lower league players and players who are kind of like reserve team players at other clubs. That's not what Arsenal are looking for. They're or, is that that best or is that maybe? Wrong. Sorry, Don. Or is that maybe he's had to shop in those areas because he didn't have the funds or the budget, the no. resources to go elsewhere? Look. I, I cannot even see why Eddie Howe is on the radar in terms of Arsenal. Well, it's Don's radar. Bright young manager. The bright young, let me tell you where you're wrong with mm. Louis Enrique. Not so much you in what he said when he said, I want £200 million. Yeah. He's way out. It's a billion pounds. <laughs> let me tell you now, £200 million pound gets you nowhere near Liverpool. So do you trust Eddie you... Howe with, with the billion pounds to spend on well, Arsenal? Well, yes, because I, I agree with what Jonathan's saying. I think if you give Eddie Howe enough money, because as you're saying, listen, my perfect manager for Arsenal Football Club, which will never happen in a millionaire because it's too radical, mm. would be Diego Simeone. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, the one where it shakes what, when the you whole... Say, when you say too radical, in what way? Because the, the, the turnover in playing staff would be too great. Because Mesut Ozil wouldn't want to play under him. Aaron Ramsey, questionable. A lot, a lot of their good players would be thinking double sessions, running sessions, hard work. But you know, that's what they you need. Look, you, they need the no, manager to exactly go what they and need. if they don't want it, then move them out. That's what Arsenal need to move forward. When you say move them out, Mesut Ozil just signed a new contract for, what, three, four or five years on £350,000 a week. That's the problem. Arsene Wenger and Arsenal have got themselves in. Mm. That was the big debate when we were talking about Alexis Sanchez and, and Mesut Ozil. And I've been saying for ages, if you're going to get rid of one, get rid of Mesut Ozil. And keep Alexis Sanchez, because if you bring in Simeone in, mm. he'd be the perfect player for so him. So let me just ask then, then, Don, if Luis Enrique's argument is similar to Diego Simeone's, just in a different way? Um, well, I think their approach is different. Their style of football is different. But I think... the idea that they're going to have to rebuild the squad, Luis Enrique's come out and saying yeah, it, and you're saying if Simeone comes in, that's what he's going to want well, I to can, do. I can imagine Simeone coming in, two-footed challenges, out, out, you're out, you're out. Enrique might just work with the squad of players that he's got. And he might be saying, £200 million pound because I rate Aaron Ramsey. You know, Aubameyang's great. We've got Mkhitaryan. Mm. We've, got, we've got good players, so I can build on that. If I get a goalkeeper and a, and a centre-half and a holding midfield player, we're not a million miles away from getting back into the Champions League. Right, we quickly discussed... Uh, well, Leroy discussed Eddie Howe, who was your mention, then he, he discussed maybe the merits of uh, Joe in Love. Don, I want to ask you about Max Allegri. I know you watch a lot of continental yeah. Europe football. What would he bring to Arsenal and the Premier League? He'll bring a ruthlessness to Arsenal, which is what they need. I saw them last week uh, in the Champions League semi-final, um, and he took a player off. Sorry, it wasn't the Champions League semi-final. It was the game against Napoli. Yeah. And he took Dybala off at half-time, who was their star player. And although Koulibaly scored in the last minute, and you, you could argue the result went against him, he's not afraid at half-time to make big calls. And their star player, Dybala, when it was nil-nil, mm -hmm. Max Allegri went, off you come, I'm going for a nil-nil. And he got Manzuka John, and he got defensive-minded players on the pitch. So exactly what Arsenal need, where they go, do you know, forget about the egos of Aaron Ramsey, and forget about the egos of Mesut Ozil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what's right to get us back into the top four, and I'm going to do the correct things, as managers should, to get us closer to winning a title. I'm going to say something there, Don, I agree with you. I'm not going to say it very what? often, but I tell you, I what? agree with you. What? Max Allegri, Patrick Vieira, Luis Enrique, Joachim Lowe. Yep. All ruthless. Yep. And exactly what Arsenal Do we know Vieira is ruthless what, yet? I, Patrick Vieira is ruthless. You played I've against him. He's got <laughs> He is yeah. ruthless. That's why I've discounted Eddie Howe. And that's no disrespect to him. I think he's a very good manager. But what Arsenal need at the moment is someone's going to go in there and stamp their authority on those players. Now, if Mesut Ozil said, I don't want to do that, that's fine. You don't have to do that because we're going to get someone in who's going to do what I want to do. That's the problem with Arsenal. They've done, the players have done exactly what they've wanted to do. They All those managers, top-class managers, but the one trait that Arsenal need is someone who's going to say, I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it. We know that. OK. We know that, but does the board know that? So let me throw a name in there. I want to do it the way that I want to do it. Yeah. He's on the verge of doing the double-double in Scotland, why have neither of you two mentioned Brendan Rodgers? I think it would be a good fit. I just don't think Brendan Rodgers would leave Celtic right here, right now for Arsenal. The state that they're in and the job that he's doing at Celtic. You know, he'll want to he'll want to make Celtic into not so much a force in Europe because it's very difficult with, the, with, the, with the, 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 the lack of money that he's got, but I think he'll want to achieve a couple of more things at Celtic. And as you said, he's, he's up for the double treble list this year and if he pulls it off, amazing job. But those are the type of managers the board at Arsenal should have their eyes on. These calibre of managers, when he took Liverpool to second and should have won the league, by the way, those are the managers where you're looking at CVs and you go, well, Brendan Rodgers is now a winner. It's proven now, even though he's gone to Scotland, he's now a winner. Does it count in Scotland, really? Come on, the no, level of football. No, it does. I think, I think does it, it disrespect. Really count? I heard a journalist say yesterday I could have won the league 
you know, if I was manager of Celtic, that's disrespectful. The job that he's doing, the recruitment that he's doing, he knows he's got no money. He's bringing loan players in from the likes of PSG. He's, 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 he's making Scott Brown a better player who I've never really rated. Mm. And he's making Celtic into a force. Aberdeen and Rangers can't get nowhere near. I, I don't think he's, he's, he's earned his stripes. Mm. Uh, Watford, Reading, Swansea. Yeah. Um, of course, he got the big job at Liverpool. Nearly took them to their first trophy, mm -hmm. Premier League trophy, in, in, in 20 odd years. Should have done. Maybe, maybe, maybe mm. should have done. Mm. Um, but he's gone to Scotland and he has been nothing short of phenomenal. Why should he not be considered alongside Love and Allegri? And uh, as, as Don said, Eddie Howe. Uh, maybe he should be considered, but I still wouldn't give him the job. Um, I just feel that Celtic is a, a club that is close to his heart. I think that he had a, an unbelievable advantage going to Scottish football. And yeah, he's won the treble and he's done it in a style which is synonymous with Brendan Rodgers. I don't see just Brendan Rodgers and Arsenal being, being a fit. I, I really can't see the two merging together. And you saying to me that Brendan Rodgers is going to bring a spine to the team that, uh, and bring out the best in terms of competitiveness, competitiveness in, in that football team. That's just not the way he, he operates. And I don't see Arsenal moving forward under Brendan Rodgers. I do think he's a, a very good, a good manager, but I can't see that being what Arsenal need. What Arsenal need at the moment is a tried and trusted man, and I'm not so saying manager, I think a man mm. who they know is going to be strong and determined and ruthless. And Brendan Rodgers doesn't, doesn't, doesn't does Doesn't that count out Patrick Vieira? No, well, I, I said mean, man. That's it, why I said man, not manager. Yeah, but I, 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 See, I don't I, know Patrick I look, Vieira I'm personally. Eddie, I'm, sorry, I'm looking at Brendan Rodgers and I'm thinking the job that he'd done at Liverpool was great. And people will argue well, he didn't get them over the line. That's absolutely fine and it's a fair argument. But the style of football Liverpool were playing was a frightening team to watch. Mm. And you look at some of the players at Arsenal and you think, Bamian, you know, Luis Suarez that he had. And you start looking at the players in and around that Liverpool team, there's a lot of players at Arsenal that he could work with and he could make them attractive. But but where, thing, I know what you're going to say. Thing, I know what you're going to say. Yeah. Clean sheets at the back and a exactly. goal. Exactly, that's one off. thing Brendan I get Rodgers, that. Absolutely. But he, but he, might have learned. he might have learned. He might, he might kick himself every night that we don't know. And Brendan Rodgers has gone, if only I'd have bought a centre half when I was at Liverpool. If only I'd have bought a top class goalkeeper. Yeah, we would have got to done. a title. Mm. And that's, I would imagine, I've never been a manager, you have. I would imagine. When you're getting things wrong on a small basis, that all them small uh, margins make, make, make a huge deal. Yeah. yeah, absolutely massive. And they can take you to a title. I just wonder if he's, if he's not learned from those lessons now. And if he walks through the door at Arsenal, and that's why I'm leaning towards what Jonathan's saying, even mm. though I still think Eddie Howe in the short term, I think it's not too radical. And that's why I would discount um, Simeone, because it's too radical. Play it would just be throwing a bomb and then... The that's what they need, though. But, see, no, no, we all know it's what they need, but Arsenal don't do it this way. Mm. You know, so Eddie Howe, I would imagine, in the short term, would be a very, very good fit for the style of players that it, style of play that he wants to play and the players that he's got to work with. This, this is the last thing I, I really want, want, want to say about this. Uh, Eddie Howe would want the job. Patrick Vieira would want the job. Yep. Why would Brendan Rodgers want the job? He's at Celtic, he's won the treble, he's a Premier League. He's the God. Premier League. He's actually won the, he's a god. Well, this, look, this is his dream job. Celtic is his dream job. Max Allegri at Juventus, what a side they are. Diego Simeone, you saw the lights, the team that he's got there. Oh, why would they want to come to Arsenal in sixth place? And why not? Why, why don't they be, should they be well, setting their, should they be setting their sights higher? I, I if, that, if that was, the, if that was the case, no one would manage. Yeah, but should you they know, be setting the their sights higher? Because where have Arsenal dropped to? And people are saying Arsenal, they've, they've been linked with all these great men. Two years ago, they could have got Pep. Two but years Leroy, ago, they could have got Klopp. Leroy, Arsenal surely, aren't like that. Surely now, Celtic, Celtic are not the epitome of football. I mean, Brendan Rodgers Brendan Rodgers was a youth team coach at, at Chelsea. Mm. Why would Chelsea not be his dream job? If exactly. Antonio Conte leaves at the end of this season like many people think he would. Manchester's got ambition. Yeah. yeah. You know, they've got ambition. So that's, my ask. Oh, that's, my, that's why I'm asking the question. Well, I'll, I'll, ask you one. So far. I'll ask you one. Mm. If Brendan Rodgers, as he's quoted saying this morning, he will come back to the Premier League. It might not be this year, it might not be the next. Mm. He's going to be a coach for the next 20, 20 years. Is he going to get a bigger club coming back to the Premier League than Arsenal? He must really get Chelsea. It's, 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 as you said, he's got a background. With, with, he's got a background. He's got a really good relationship with anybody he worked with at Chelsea. It's a club that he knows, a club where he's well respected. And so I think he would get. Uh, I think Chelsea would be a much better option for. Brendan I just don't Rodgers. know. I just think with Chelsea's radar, I think they're always looking at massive names that will come in for a year. Simeone. And a half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that, I, that I, seems, mean I know that we've gone from fit. Arsenal to Chelsea. No, but that seems a fit yeah. because you know when you look at the style of play and, and, and what they produce, Arsenal, they're a nicey, nicey team, easy on the eye, always have been. Mm -hmm. You know, not against the sides that I played, the Vieira and Petits, of course, but of late over the last decade. And you go, you go Chelsea, and you go, oh, some characters there. Well, Joe, Jose, and that's where Simeone would be a better fit for Chelsea than he would Arsenal. Because Jose got him playing workman like. Antonio Conte has not been total flair. Yeah. It's been a lot of work. It's how they like do things, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's how they do things. It's like, right, do Chelsea care 
if they break 100 points a season like Man City are going to no, do? No. no. They, get, no. They, they get more yeah. joy and more pleasure out of winning trophies and winning titles. OK, so there you have it. We've discussed... Five or six or maybe seven and eight Tell you what, managers. You know, I'm going to put you both on the spot now. Mm -hmm. um, you've got one choice each. Brendan. After everything was, <laughs> <laughs> after everything was said. Um, no, Allegri. Don, Allegri, because he's, he's a proven winner. He's, he's, he's won things at the very highest level. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that, but I'd go for Joachim Love. Joachim Love. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, Joachim Love for Leroy Rossini and uh, Max Allegri there for Don Hutchison.